Hello everybody once again from Fenway Park. Zach Campbell back here for the second straight day. And first of all, I don't know if there's batting practice because the game is starting at four o'clock. Teams can sometimes be cranky about hitting when they play in the mid-afternoon. And secondly, Red Sox versus Orioles, Chris Sale on the hill for Boston. So really looking forward to seeing him. And other than that, I'll be sitting in the outfield trying to catch a home run. So let's get to it. There is batting practice today, woo! And there was also music blasting, so I'm adding this voiceover to cover all this noise. And all right, the first thing that I have to point out here during batting practice is that the Red Sox were using a pitching machine. Yes, my friends, that's right, and you can see it here in this clip as Masataka Yoshida hits. So I'm running around in the seats, this ball wasn't even close. And when teams do use pitching machines in BP, that is not a good thing because the hitters usually hit much worse than if there's actually a coach out there pitching balls by hand. So at least the Sox were being generous, tossing some balls up. I came close on that one. And you'll just see how much I was struggling here. Again, Yoshida blasts one out to right. I thought I might have a play on this one, but look at this thing. It fell way short. It probably needed like 40 more feet to reach me. So here I am again maneuvering around. You can see that I climb over a row and Yep, so that ball landed in the bullpen and the frustration was really building for me at this point. And look at this, a swing and a miss during batting practice. Are you kidding me? And after that, well, nice little hit there to the opposite field, but I was so annoyed that I decided to make fun of the batter. So forgive me for being a little bit grumpy, but here's Yoshida one more time. He gets a hold of this one. I start running through the seats and it landed in the red seats on the other side of the bullpen. So. I had zero baseballs when the Sox finished hitting. Just one group and they were done. Not one home run came out to the seat. So shout out to this guy named James holding the sign. And the Orioles were out starting to get loose. Here's Jorge Lopez and things were much quieter at this point. So you can see how they played out from here. here and now that I've shown it who here hasn't gotten a ball job, you haven't gotten one so you have three there you, go. Has you got it oh is it bouncing it is oh, just down. you know this stadium is annoying and it's also cool it's annoying because they have to hit balls that clear these bullpens but it's cool because you got all this space in the walkway. So, I'll take it. Still, overall, it's great here. Normally, when there are a bunch of righties taking BP here, I like to hang out in center field because that's a decent spot. But today, because it's a 4.10 p.m. first pitch, the batters need extra help with their visibility, and so an entire section of seats out there is covered with a black tarp, and fans are not allowed to go there. So I feel like an endangered species right now with my available territory shrinking. And so I think I might try something different and actually go play the foul pole in right field. Even if I don't get one, it's still a pretty cool spot. So let's go. myself pretty good at catching baseballs and I would assume that lots of you guys watching this video would agree 
However, there are times when things do not go my way at all, and today, unfortunately, was one of those days. It was a total disaster. No matter where I went, I just couldn't catch a break. There were no home runs at anywhere near me, so I don't know if I should blame myself or blame the players for not hitting them, but thankfully, Ben Carhart, bullpen catcher extraordinaire on the Orioles, hooked it up. We saw that one toss-up, so there is no shutout today. And I mean, just look at this. I'm a sweaty, disgusting mess. I think anytime you sweat this much, you should get at least 27 baseballs, not just one. So I was working hard, and I think the thing to do right now is get some food in my belly. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm gonna get some better pizza after the game. You wait and see. Yeah, so that's the situation for right now. 40 minutes before game time. Looks like there's about to be some crazy weather, and yet, if you can see this, well, we got, hey, what's going on? We got Jack Flaherty, Orioles starter, getting loose, and Red Sox coaches making their way to the bullpen. So are they gonna start this game when it might have to get delayed after a few innings? I don't know what's happening. Good to see you. Yeah. These guys are so nice. Oh my god. Ben Carhart. It's gonna rain, isn't it? I don't know. Well, I mean, you can see it coming. Sure does look like rain. Gonna get stuck inside a Major League Baseball stadium for a 90 minute rain delay, and all you can do is sit around and look at the crazy weather. Well, Fenway Park is a damn good option. This place is glorious, even if there's not a baseball game happening. But thankfully, the sky started to clear up, and the grounds crew began pulling the tarp off the field, and we are finally going to see some baseball in just a bit. And so I decided to head down the ramp into the concourse because well it's noisy everywhere I think it's a little less noisy right here so let's try this again Orioles Red Sox Jack Flaherty versus Chris Sale I mentioned Sale earlier so let's head back out there and see how close we can get to the man
Baltimore Red Sox have jumped out to an early lead after a bloop single by Raphael Devers. Justin Turner blasted a two-run homer over the Green Monster. And so right now, top of the second, Red Sox are up 2 nothing, And Chris Sale is dealing early on. He's uh, retired the first four batters. And you know, it's unfortunate that he's a lefty because that means the Orioles lineup is stacked with righties. Out of their nine players, only one of them is batting left-handed, Gunnar Henderson. And righties really can't hit home runs to this spot, so yeah, that's a bummer. Ever since the Red Sox scored those two runs in the first inning, while the Orioles have scored five unanswered runs, including a three-run bomb by Aaron Hicks that went over the Green Monster because Hicks is batting right-handed, because Chris Sale's pitching left-handed, and yeah. Uh, there's a long drive out to... Just hit a two-run homer. So that's seven unanswered runs. Seven to Orioles, top of the fourth. Just listen to this crowd. So much for those unanswered runs, huh? Yeah, the Red Sox just scored four in the bottom of the fourth, and so there's been a whole lot of activity in both bullpens. Chris Sale is now out of the game. The game is now in the top of the fifth. Orioles are up by just one run, seven to six. And so, you know, we got Aaron Hicks up there, a switch hitter, now batting left-handed, so I'm ready. This game started off as a day game. It's gonna finish as a night game. It might rain like four more times for all I know, but for right now, it's a beautiful, albeit a bit chilly, Boston night. I'll take it. Jordan Westberg just blasted a home run to center field. And look at this fan grabbing the baseball in front of that tarped off area that I was talking about earlier. And then right after that, James McCann also went yard to center field, but that ball bounced back onto the field. And so the long balls are continuing top seven right now. Scores nine to six Orioles. And for Westberg, he's just a triple short of the cycle. He will be up again. And if that home run that he hit had happened last night when I was sitting out there, I definitely would have caught it. So that's frustrating. The home run timing is just off. Uh, Ryan O'Hearn last night hit a home run out here to right field that I don't think I would have caught it, but I would have been really close. 
So, you know, the home run luck has been on my side a lot this season, but the last couple nights here in Boston, not so much. And that was a three-run bomb right there for Gunnar Henderson. Finally, a home run out to right field, but that thing landed all the way down the line over in the red seats. So I didn't even get out of my seat here, but just amazing to see. And so it's 12 to six Orioles right now, still in the seventh inning. Tons of action all night on the field. There was finally a little action for me in the stands as the bottom of the ninth got started. Aaron Hicks chucked his warm-up ball into the crowd and, well, not only did I catch that one and give it away, but I grabbed the one baseball that I still had in my bag and handed that off to another fan. But okay, getting back to the action on the field, when Rafael Devers ripped a double into the right center field gap, that was the Red Sox 20th hit of the game. And that wasn't even the end of it. They loaded the bases after that, and then Trevor Story sliced a deep drive down the right field line, which dunked in near the foul pole and took a tricky ricochet off the wall. So that brought in two runs, and then Willier Abreu hit an RBI single to trim the Orioles' lead to just one. Well, that sparked some more action in the bullpen, and then with two outs and the tying run on third base, Emmanuel Valdez hit a routine fly ball to left field for the final out, and my God, this was a marathon. In addition to the lengthy rain delay, the game itself lasted three hours and 40 minutes, but that's what happens when there are a combined 25 runs and 37 hits. And by the way, Jordan Westberg flied out in his final at bat, so no cycle for him, but I still feel like I witnessed something historic here at Fenway as the Orioles hung on for a crazy 13 to 12 victory. Oh, wait, and so I am outside the stadium now. It's been a very long day and night here. I got four baseballs, gave them all away, but they all count for the lifetime total. So that number is 12,339. And there is still one item left to check off on the list for tonight. You saw that I had that crappy slice of pizza earlier and I said I was gonna get some better pizza. Well, let's make that happen. Fellini's baby, Providence, Rhode Island. Thank you guys for watching.